<laughs> Hi guys! Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> so I should let you know I had a little bit of wine. And I'm feeling a little bit pickled and I don't know what this is. What is this? This is uh shit. This is me drinking. I had a few drinks and my lips are coming off on the glass already. Fuck. I was gonna do a mukbang and uh, it didn't work out. Uh, I burnt stuff. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, you know, life goes on, whatever. I don't know. I don't know, fuck it. Right? Uh, I want to wear my crown. to work, working overtime, working a night shift, I'm here by myself. Um, I worked last night and right now it is 9.30 p.m. I have not been to sleep. So I went out with my girlfriend at lunch and we had some war wonton soup and it was delicious. And then I came home and then I started cleaning the house and stuff and I decided to have some wine. So I've been drinking since probably two o'clock. Now I'm not drinking hard. I'm just like slurping on wine, sipping. You guys see me, how I, how I sip, right? But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm feeling uh, no pain. No pain. Not that I ever have pain anyways. I don't have a bad back. I don't have bad knees. I don't have bad hips. I don't have bad nothing. Every now and then my shitter don't work, but that's about it. Yeah. So yeah. Oh my god, that smells so good. I got addicted to this shit when I went to the Yukon when I was about 13 or 14 years old. I just love it so much. And here's my little, whoops, whoops, oh, balls. Here's my little, my little teepee. Isn't it cute? I know, it is, I know. I bought that in Newfoundland and uh, at the powwow um, in, where was I? I was around Flat Bay somewhere. Where was that? Around Flat Bay. Anyway, yeah, Flat Bay. Yeah. But anyway, oh shit. <laughs> Fuck is all over my computer. Yeah, so, anyways. Oh. Oh my god. I'm gonna catch everything on fire. Okay. So anyways, um, I was going to have a mukbang and it didn't work out, so I'm just going to snack on my seaweed chips. Seaweed chips. Here we go. Oh, they're so oily. Shit. Hold on. Guys, there's nothing wrong with oil, as long as it's not the bad oil. Anyways, it's good for your pooper. <coughs> Jesus. Anyway, yeah, so my guts haven't been doing very good, so. Yeah. <laughs> 
Princess Leia, right? <laughs> you guys ever have these things? When I first started eating them, I didn't like them. It's like, what is this shit? It's all oily and tastes like ocean shit. Now, I start eating them and I don't want to stop. It's like chips. Yeah. Mmm. -hmm. I don't really know what to talk about. October 17th. 2018. Big day. Big day in Canada. Mm hmm. What is it? Comment down below if you know what it is before I tell you. Hurry up. Do it. Did you figure it out yet? Yeah. Is Weed Legalization Day in Canada. Thanks to Justin Trudeau, the stoner. Yoga guy, stoner guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on. You know it's true. So, everybody's gonna light up or they're gonna do their thing or whatever. Like celebrating Canada's start of a whole new what? A whole new path, adventure, a whole new change. It's a good change. I used to be against weed until I saw all the good that it does. That shit is amazing. I don't do it personally. But I'm definitely an advocate. Yep. See what I mean about these chips? My God. Okay, I'll have a drink. I need to know the package. I do have some shitty news though. Yeah. Our kitchen sink has been plugged for two days. We've been friggin' snaking it. We bought the most expensive friggin' like shit better than liquid plumber. Put that down there and stuff. Man, still, it's. It's still fucking plugged. I'm so pissed off. So, I don't know, we used two different kinds of snakes. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what the hell my husband put down there, but it was him that did it. Pretty sure it was his coffee grains. Yeah. And to top it all off, down underneath the sink it started leaking. So I got a freaking whole area of my cupboards soaked. I got everything all on the floor. My kitchen is actually upside down right now. How does it look to you guys? If I showed you what it looked right, like right now, you'd be like, what the f Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I didn't sleep yet today. <sighs> what did I eat? You know what? Pretty 
sure. All I ate was like bad stuff. Dessert and stuff. Yeah. C'est la vie, frig. I don't give a shit. And then, I'm gonna go to bed tonight. I'm gonna have such a good sleep. I think I might go to bed watching a horror movie. Yep. I'm trying to figure out my, what my next mukbang is gonna be. And I don't know what's, what's with me lately, but I've been craving seafood like crazy. If you guys saw, I've been to Bubba Gumps and all that stuff, eating shrimp and whatnot. But anyway, yeah, I don't know. And then I made this beautiful seafood chowder. Oh my God. But anyway, I think I might have some later. Well, it's almost 10 o'clock. It's like 20 to 10 p.m. So I'm going to have it now. But in the morning. I got some rave reviews on my chowder. Yeah. Ah. Oh, god damn. Oh my god. Oh my god, my face. Oh, shit. Oh my god, that hurt. Seaweed is supposed to be really good for you. Do you guys know that? Yeah. It's loaded full of stuff. All the greens, you guys. You know how people are always saying, eat your greens, eat your greens. Loaded. Loaded. Yum. Oh my God, it's all gone. Here, I got a little package of desiccant in the bottom. Do you know what that is? It's little tiny balls and they suck up the moisture. Yeah. Well, I made quite the mess. I'll probably have all kinds of green in my teeth. <laughs> Speaking of teeth, made my appointment today to go see my dentist to get my filling and to get my crown done. So crowns, are, you're only supposed to have crowns, like a temporary crown for like a week. And then you're supposed to go get the real crown. But, oh my God. Oh. Mm. But my dentist ended up having to go to a funeral. <coughs> Excuse me. So it got delayed. So now in a couple days, I'll be able to go and get it all done fixed up and get my face, my face, <laughs> get my mouth all done. I really like my new dentist. She's pretty cool. Nice lady. What's happening? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Renee. <laughs> I looked in, I looked out the window and I saw my reflection. This one fella and he's really fun and uh, I think he'll be a really good laugh but I'm patiently waiting to hear back from him. He did say that he was going to do a uh, cooking and mukbang video with me so I'm waiting patiently to hear back from him but he's a very very busy fella so hopefully I'll hear from her soon. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I'll find you guys. Um, I'd really like to start telling you guys some personal stuff about me, but I don't know. I I don't know. I'm a little paranoid, I guess. A little bit insecure. 
a little bit nervous maybe. I don't like being judged. Unless you guys know about me, though. You guys shouldn't judge me, right? Yeah, I don't know. What can I tell you? Let me see. Um. Well, I'm 52 and my son is 32. I had him exactly nine months to the day after my 19th birthday. <laughs> and uh, I congratulated his father that night and I said, congratulations, you're gonna be a dad. And he said, ah. and I said, it's true. Sure enough, it happened. <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, um, let me see. What stories can I tell? What stories can I tell? Um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of unnerving talking about yourself on camera. Um, I suppose I could tell you a little bit about various exes and stuff like that. I had some shitty ones. Um, I had narcissistic ones. I had some that were extremely unemotional, hard, stern, strict, but those are not all bad qualities, but they kind of are when there's not enough fun. But anyway, uh, let's see, I had one ex who was a lunatic. Oh my God. So I used to have a water bed years ago and uh, I would, like work a night shift and he'd be home and when I'd get home in the morning he'd want me to stay up because he was up and I'd be extremely tired my shifts were 12 hours long and I had to do a long bus ride to work and home so my days basically ran I'm going to say about if I got up at say six o'clock in the morning, I didn't get home till nine o'clock at night. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15 hour days. And uh, so that would have been a 15 hour night. And he wanted me to stay up in the day. And I would say, I need to go to sleep. And he would get mad. And I would try to lay down in the bed. And he would jump up on the bed and put his knees on the uh, foot footboard. Is that what it's called? The foot foot uh, yeah footboard. Put his knees on the footboard. His feet on the actual uh, belly of the waterbed, and start pounding his feet like this, making waves on the waterbed so that I couldn't sleep. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, I'd end up having to get up and stuff, and uh, stay up for the majority of the day, and. Uh, get very little sleep and then go back to work again. And uh, I remember one time I was at work and I literally fell asleep standing up. I was standing at the counter in the security shack. And uh, I was, it was pretty interesting because the, the counter was so high, it was like up to here. And I remember I put my, my arms on the counter like this and my knees were up against the counter. So, I was braced up and I don't know how long I was there, but I remember waking up. <laughs> it was bizarre. It was crazy. Yeah. And, uh, this other time he, um, I wanted to go to bed after work. You know what? It may have been the next night and, or the next morning after work. And, uh, I, w I was in the bed and he kept trying to get me to stay up. And I was so exhausted. I just laid in the bed and I kept saying, no, leave me alone, leave me alone. And he pulled all of the covers off of the bed, every single cover. I was just laying on a bare bladder. I didn't even have my pillow. He took that from me too. And I tried and tried to lay down and he kept bothering me. And he jumped on the bed with a knife and he said, if you don't get up, I am going to stab the bed. So I ended up having to get up and yeah, that was a great relationship, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I believe 
how long did we live together? I think we lived together four months. October, November, December, January. Maybe five, maybe five months. But anyway, yeah, that was enough of that. And he was gone, get out, yeah. So then I ended up having my little bachelor suite and that was just great and life was good and he left town and went away. Hey, And uh, yeah, um, ever since then, uh, I've become a lot stronger. And uh, although I did have one, one jerk after that, he, yeah, he was all about himself. But anyway, he's another story for another day. What another jackass. But anyway, <laughs> that's enough about me for one day. I'm gonna finish editing this uh, video and keep inhaling the scents. Legalization in Canada. Anyway, take care you guys. Bye and behave yourselves. <laughs>